I'm Matthew Galgani with your IBD 2-Minute Tip. With IBD, you'll always know if now is a good time to get into or out of the market. We've studied how every bull and bear market has started and ended going all the way back to 1880. Certain signals appear when the market direction starts to change, and IBD tracks those signals to let you know if now is a good time to be buying stocks or sitting safely on the sidelines. As you can see in this chart, IBD's alerts to new uptrends and downtrends have helped people grow and protect their money through all the market's ups and downs over the last decade. For example, on November 8, 2007, and again on September 5, 2008, IBD alerted readers to new downtrends as the financial crisis took hold. This helped countless investors protect their gains and avoid big losses. On March 12, 2009, IBD let readers know that a new uptrend had begun helping investors take advantage of the new rally even as the bad economic news kept most people out of the market. Let's see how it works. Each day, check out the Market Pulse graphic in the big picture found on page A1 in IBD. The Current Outlook section lists one of three possible stages. You can also find the current stage in IBD Stock Checkup on Investors.com, represented by a red, yellow, or green light. Market in confirmed uptrend is the best time to buy stocks. That's because three out of four stocks will simply follow the overall market trend. So if you buy a stock when the general market is heading up, you have a 75% chance of being right. But if you buy when the market is heading down, you have a 3 in 4 chance of being wrong. If you stay disciplined and buy stocks when the market is in a confirmed uptrend, you'll keep the odds of success in your favor. Like a yellow traffic light, uptrend under pressure means you should proceed with caution. The change from market in confirmed uptrend to uptrend under pressure happens when there are several days of heavy selling in just a few weeks. At that point, it's not clear if the uptrend will continue or if the market will slip into a correction or downtrend. So you want to watch your stocks very carefully and be ready to sell to lock in your gains and cut any losses short. Technically, you can still buy stocks during this stage, but understand that you would be taking on additional and really unnecessary risk. You're much better off only buying when the market is in a confirmed uptrend. Market in correction means the overall market trend is down, and as we mentioned before, that means three out of four stocks will likely go down with it. So don't buy stocks during a correction. You don't have to automatically sell all your stocks in a correction, but be ready to do some defensive selling. If you're sitting on some gains, consider selling to lock them in. If you're around break even or down a little, don't let small losses become big losses. You're better off waiting safely on the sidelines until the market rebounds and the market pulse once again says market in confirmed uptrend. That way when a new rally begins, instead of trying to make up past losses, you'll be ready to capture new gains. This three-step approach gives you a time-tested way to minimize risk and maximize your overall returns. To learn more, click on the Education tab on Investors.com and select Gauging Market Direction. You can also see the Market Timing video series found under the IBD TV tab. That's your two-minute tip. Thanks for watching.